Hi, I'm Doug Gansler. I've been Maryland's Attorney General for the last eight years and now I'm running to be your next governor. Maryland has never had a governor elected from Montgomery County and as someone who grew up here, I know how important it is that we have a leader who stands up for and fights for all of our interests. First as an Assistant United States Attorney, then as Montgomery County State's Attorney, and now as Attorney General, I've spent my career fighting for what's fair and right for all of our neighborhoods. As Attorney General, I took on the big banks and secured more than $1.5 billion in mortgage relief for thousands of Maryland homeowners. I took on health insurance companies that tried to raise premiums and energy companies that polluted our air in Chesapeake Bay. I also championed laws taking guns out of the hands of domestic abusers. I'm going to continue to fight to make sure that Maryland's governor does more to meet the needs of all Marylanders, including those here in Montgomery County. As governor, I'll fight to create jobs and build an economy that delivers for the middle class. That's why I proposed a comprehensive jobs plan to bring more jobs to Maryland. The plan will modernize Maryland's workforce, bring businesses and jobs to every part of the state, and support Maryland's existing businesses. In Montgomery County, being so close to Virginia, we especially feel the effects of not doing enough to support our existing businesses. Too many Marylanders are looking for work and too many of our businesses are closing shop or leaving the state and going to Virginia. As your governor, I will fight day and night to create jobs that come with benefits and as a path to success and growth. Maryland can also do more to make sure our kids are getting the education they need to thrive. As a child growing up in Montgomery County attending Chevy Chase Elementary School, one of our best state's best schools, I know what a difference having an enriching education can have on the life of a child. As governor, I will address the gross inequities in education that have been tolerated far too long, including here in Montgomery County. Our schools must give our children every possible opportunity to succeed, and I will fight to make sure that every child in Maryland gets a fair chance. In addition to providing a valuable education to our children, we need to make sure that the communities they grow up in are safe so that they can have fond memories like those I have of Lowen's Toy Store and Gifford's Ice Cream in Bethesda. As Montgomery County State's Attorney, I brought real change and progress to the way our community deals with crime. I created the first community-based prosecution program, the first domestic violence dockets, the first gang unit, and the first elder abuse unit. As Maryland Governor, I'll continue to fight for safer neighborhoods by implementing my plans to empower communities, victims, and police to make sure that all of our communities are safe, places to live and to work. Working to create jobs and make Maryland a safer place to live is important, but we also can't forget about protecting the environment around us. As Attorney General, I made protecting the Bay and holding polluters accountable one of my top priorities, winning the largest environmental penalty in our state's history. And as Governor, I intend to take on polluters who try to hide from that law and continue to make protecting the Bay one of our top priorities. But it's not just our environment that needs to be healthy. In order to have a state that is a great place to live and work, we need to make sure that all Marylanders have access to affordable health care. I was an early Obama supporter and a supporter of health care reform. I actually went to the Supreme Court to make sure it was upheld constitutionally because I believe health care is a right. As governor, I'll roll up my sleeves and get our health care exchange done right. No more excuses. I work hard every day because I care deeply about the people of Maryland. I grew up in Montgomery County, my children have grown up in Montgomery County, and for 22 years I've been fighting for our entire state. It is time that Maryland stop u stops using Montgomery County as an ATM machine and start putting our tax dollars to work for our community. That's why I'm asking you to make the right choice, and on June 24th, vote for Doug Gansler as your next governor.